Okay, um, let's say that we have a curve. Its equation is 4x minus x squared. And we have a straight line y equals x. We want to find a region in between this straight line and this curve. Not only want to find out what the region is, but we want to find the area of that region. So let's see how we're going to sketch this part. Um, here we have y equals x times 4 minus x. So this is going to cross the x-axis when x equals 0 and when x equals 4. And right here we can may as well find out what dy dx is. That's pretty easy. That will equal 4 minus 2x. So there's a critical point only one critical point it looks like and that will occur when x equals 2 and let's see when x equals 2 what do we have 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2 squared is 4 y will equal 4 and is that a maximum or a minimum if we take the second derivative that's minus 2 that's always negative, so this has to be a maximum point. So, let's see what this is going to look like. See, we'll get a rough curve of it anyway. Let's see, it crosses the x-axis, x equals 0 and x equals 4. And looks like this maximum height has been y equals 4. So it'll be something like 1, 2, 3, 4, one, two, three, four. Of course, this is the x axis. This is the y axis. And it has a maximum point when x equals two. One, two, and y is four. So it's going to look something like this. So there. We managed to sketch that out without too much problem. And now for the line y equals x, what will be the point of intersection between this curve and this straight line? Well, when they intersect, they're going to have the same y values. So at the point of intersection, This has to equal this. So we have 4x minus x squared equals x. So let's see, it looks like we can bring the x around to the other side of the equation. That'll be 3x minus x squared equals 0. Or well, let's see, we can factor an x out. We'll have x times 3 minus x equals 0. And this equation, that will be equal to 0 when x is 0 when, and, and when x equals 3. So the point of intersection is x equals 0 and x equals 3. Well, let's see. For the line, when x equals 3, y is 3. What about for the curve? Here we would have 4 times 3 is 12, minus 3 squared is 9, 12 minus 3, 12 minus 9 is 3. So let's see, we'll go over 1, 2, 3, and then go up 3. So it's going to be something oops, like this. And right down here, x equals 3. So here then, that's our area. Well, that's our region of interest, and that's what we have to find the area of. So, let's make some room.
Now, imagine if we could do this. Oh, before we go on, it's always a good idea, label your curves. So this curve here, that is 4x minus x squared, and this, which is y equals x. Okay, and here, again, right in here, this is the region that we want to find the area of this region in here. Now, imagine if we had a rectangle like this, and the base width was dx. And the area of that rectangle would be obviously dx multiplied by the height of that rectangle. And we could find that, and we could find the area of that rectangle, and then do it for all these rectangles that we could make that have a base of dx, and add up all the areas of all those rectangles, starting at x equals 0, and going on out to x equals 3. That would give us, then, the area of our region of interest. And the height of this rectangle, we could say, well, it would be the height of this curve here, minus the height of this curve here. So, the area, that will equal the integral, and the height is 4x minus x squared, that's the upper curve, minus the lower curve, that's x. So, there's the height of our rectangle, multiplied by the width of the base, that's dx, Let's make some room here. And we want to add all of those up, starting at x equals 0, and going on out, out here to x equals 3. So that would be our integral. And let's see then, this like shouldn't be too difficult. This will equal the area, or the integral from 0 to 3. I have 4x minus x. So I have 3 times x minus x squared dx. And this will be equal to for x squared, for, for x that would be 1 half x squared times 3. When we integrate, we add 1. So that's x squared, and we have to remember to divide by x squared. We get that covered. And minus, this would be x cubed, and divided by 3. And x goes from 0 to 3. So let's see, this will equal... We have put 3 in here, that will be 9, minus 1 third, the cube, that's 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27, and that should be the area, this will be 27 over 2 minus 27 over 3, um, and this would be 13 and a half minus 9. So the area will be four and a half units. And that's it. There's no more to the problem than that. Um, so it's a pretty simple integral. And probably with all the problems, all the area problems that you uh, will encounter when dealing with the area between between the uh, curves, the integrals are probably pretty straightforward for you. But um, probably the biggest challenge might be just making certain that we can sketch the curves properly and determine our region of interest, and then after that, set up our area integral. So let's see if we can pick another problem. Um, this one, 
we're familiar with how to do this. What would happen though if we had a different kind of curve where it was around the y-axis instead of around the x-axis? And then how would we set up the, uh, the area that could go for that kind of a situation? Um, I don't think we have time to do that in this video. We'll come back in the next video then. We'll try and solve a different kind of problem.